Good morning, everybody. It is Goddess Kendra. So today is story time. I like to talk about someone who cannot understand the fact that she cannot turn a straight woman out. Now, this chick I work with sits at our little island at work. And she has a crush on a woman. We'll just call her Emerson. And we'll call the other chick Brandy. (sighs) Emerson has a codependent behavior. And she's mad because Brandy's not gay. And she's mad because Brandy will not go on a date with her. She's on some stalker shit. You know how dykes are. They can't accept the fact that you don't like them in that way. So, because she's mad that Brandy doesn't like her ugly butt, she's like being mean to everybody that sits on the island. And I caught that whole talking shit about us yesterday. I don't give a fuck. I mean... I already know white people are fraudulent. I've been noticing some weird shit at work. Not the point. But I don't fuck with them. And they don't like me because I don't give a fuck. Like I tell a motherfucker, I don't give a fuck if you like me or not. I have whole family members who don't fuck with me. Anyways. So this girl's like a narcissistic as fuck. And she's codependent like. She wants to be loved so bad that she mistakes someone going. And we're saying, come over, let's have a drink or let's smoke. She takes it as like, oh my God, this this person really likes me. And that's not the case. Now she's becoming extremely... Forceful, and this can be considered as sexual harassment. The Brandy's told her, Look, I'm not gay, I don't like you. And if Brandy was gay, she would want to be with a woman who looks like a girl, not a boy. Emerson's best friends, like, everybody's not gonna like you like that. Now she has these grand jury delusions and she's having a fucking temper tantrum. This girl does not motherfucking like you. Bitch, you're getting on my fucking nerves. You can't turn every girl out. Come on now. This girl likes dick. She has three kids like me and she's become, this bitch is so fucking fake, my nigga. So last week I was like really hungry and, um, She always invites us to go with her for lunch. But come to find out, this bitch didn't even want me to go. So she had a whole fucked up attitude. She was mad because she couldn't smoke weed. I asked if they wanted anything to eat. She said no. She's phony as hell. She's always like, come with me. Come with me. Like, why would I want to come with you? I don't like your motherfucking ass. And now you're starting to talk shit about everybody. See, my thing is, if you don't fucking like me, um, leave me alone. Don't say shit to me at work. I don't give a fuck, girl, if you like me or not. And now she's starting to sin. She's starting to sin. Oh, crazy text messages like, Brandy. <sighs> You are using me. How come you, you're using me? You're not being real. And Brandy's like, well, if you can't accept the fact that I don't want to be with you, maybe we shouldn't be friends. She's like, well, Emerson's like, you haven't been real from day one. And now she's having these little bitch fits. First of all, bitch, I would never... And Brandy would never date anybody we work with. It's just fucking weird. And now you have this weird energy. Like I've always said, homosexuality to me is not normal. And if everybody in the world was homosexual, 
there be no children. She has some fucked up energy. And then she, when she's not getting her way, she loves to play like she's severely sick. And this shit is starting to piss me off. You want attention and you have such low self-esteem that you um, are acting a fool. Now, bitch, I never did anything to your ugly dyke ass, so you have no reason to have an attitude. And it's like, ho, don't talk to me. You're a phony-ass bitch. And I swear to you, old me will beat your ass. And, and if you keep fucking with me in the table, I'm going to get your ass fired. I don't give a fuck. This is sexual harassment, except the fact everybody's not going to like you. I told someone I worked with that I really liked them, and the person rejected me. I had to accept the fact that he didn't like me. And then, like, a few months ago, he gets drunk as fuck, and it's like, I love you, Kendra. You're so cool. (sighs) You're so cool and blah, blah, blah. It's like, wow, now that I'm totally over this, you want me or whatever. But um, this is some single white female obsession. And people like this Emerson chick fucking will kill your ass because you don't want to be with her or kill herself. This is like really starting to creep me out and making... This shit weird as a motherfucker.